my colleagues to commend Deputy O'Brien for bringing the bill uh, forward. Uh, and the bill provides property tax relief for homeowners who are paying management fees and is one, one of a suite of measures that Fianna Fáil has to help people living in multi-unit developments. This is a practi practical and long overdue piece of legislation. In fact, the government has continually neglected these owners and their issues, despite the fact that there are over half a million people living in these types of properties. Under the legislation, apartment and homeowners would receive a discount on property tax worth a third of their management fee or property tax, depending on whichever is lower. The discount would be capped at 300 euros a year, provided the owner has paid their management fee in full. The local property tax uh, was established to fund services such as maintaining public lighting, roads, paths, groundkeeping, and managing public parking. However, apartment owners and residents of managed complexes already provide many services themselves, including maintenance and upkeep of local recreation areas most of the times, though through their annual management fee, yet apartment owners have to pay the same level of local property tax. I have been contacted by a number of people living in, these, in, in, in an estate paying management fees, which in some cases cost uh, over €2,000 per year. These residents should at least have reduced fee because it is completely unfair to be charged twice for the upkeep of your area. The legislation is about ensuring that we have a fair property tax system and where everybody pays, uh, where nobody has to pay on the double for the same services. According to the Thornhill report on local property tax, based on an average local property tax of 257, 257 euros, the average benefit to a recipient would be 86 euros, and at least 200,000 households would benefit at a total cost of 17.5 million. Many people who brought, bought homes at the heights of the market are paying high ma management fees of up to 2,500, as I said earlier. This is equivalent to two months' mortgage payments in some cases. With the uncertainty surrounding the, de the delay in the LPT review, causing major stress for both homeowners and local authorities nationwide, this piece of legislation will offer some comfort to those affected who don't know whether to preempt a rise or not. Fianna Fáil made a detailed submission firmly outlining our opposition to introducing any increases. A fair, more equitable system is needed and we are committed to ensuring that once the review is finalised and published. And it's, 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 it's important to point out as well that uh, the bill is it's for owner-occupiers only, it's not for investors. And these owner-occupiers would have bought their properties uh, maybe in the boom, pay big, very high prices for apartments, some of them between maybe 250 and 350,000 euros. That's what the prices were at that time. And there's no doubt they are struggling and they need any, any help that they can get. And hopefully it will encourage people as well to pay their management fees in full, because that, there is a problem there. It's, 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 there's a lot of money owed uh, to, ma to management companies, simply because the people just can't afford to pay them, quite honestly. And uh, they have to, to live as well. And there is that other issue that was raised there um, uh, by Deputy Murphy. Uh, you know, people who are applying for planning permission in rural areas finding themselves with, with development charges of maybe 10 and 12,000 euros, even though they provide all their own uh, site, their sewage, they have to pay for the water, of course, that's not a problem. But they find themselves paying these extraordinary development charges. And I know they're saying they're for libraries and they're for lighting here, a footpaths there and everything else, but those people get very little benefit from that development charge that they, are, they have to pay as part of the planning permission. So there's, there's a lot of things that needs to be done, quite honestly. Thank you. Next is the government.